Okay, let's get started with API Days Helsinki. Welcome everyone, and we'll go quickly through the highlights of the uh, program and some practical things that you should know about the event. And then we'll kick off with some of the keynotes. So first things first, uh, we have a few keynotes here uh, before break. And the break is until uh, two o'clock and you're welcome to visit the uh, booth of our sponsors or partners, as we like to call them. And you will find uh, the partners village in the navigation there. Uh, and also both the stages in the stages area and the workshops and roundtables also in that navigation. And uh, during the event, you can also send messages to people uh, in the people's tab in the next to the chat. And there will be some polls in the polls tab. In the upper left, right corner, there is uh, your own profile plus some icons for alerts and messages. So if there's anything red anywhere or like this uh, alert color, then probably somebody has sent you a message or, or invited you to a video call. So pay attention. And of course, you can do that yourself too. And then for the topics of today, we have developer experience versus customer experience on stage one, and also API economy and ecosystems after the second break, which ends at four o'clock uh, local time. And in stage two, we have exciting things like scaling up mobility and APIs, and also healthcare and complex APIs. And during the talks, uh, we will have a few moments to ask questions after each talk, but, and, and most of the speakers are able to also answer some questions in the chat. In the Q&A and networking section, uh, after uh, a few talks, we always have the speakers of that track uh, having a conversation, and you can ask more uh, questions from them via the chat and they will be picked up by the moderator of the QA session. So you will, will have a longer period to pick their brains. And meanwhile, uh, during a few talks, we have workshops and roundtables and there was a pre-registration for those, but you can also just jump in if you find them interesting. If there are too many people there, you might be thrown out, but I guess that you will fit in, even though we do have almost 1,000 registered people. And let's see how many of them are actually online all the time of the event, hopefully many. Uh, without further ado, I have a few uh, guests of honor here with me in the opening talks. And let's see if we can get them to show their faces. Monica and Lorenzino, can you start sharing? So let's get them in. And there Hello. is a reason. Hi, Lorenzo. Hello. Hi, Monica. Hello. There is Hello. a reason we are here from European Commission. Care to join, uh, share with us why? Yeah, uh, thanks, Mayuka, for the, for the introduction. Um, so uh, my name is Monica. I'm the leader of uh, the API team. I'm here with Lorenzino Bagari, who is uh, um, a core, a part of the, of the team as well. Um, we we're going to try to summarize in five minutes uh, why APIs are getting um, momentum as a matter of a study in the European Commission and give you a glimpse on the research activities that we are running uh, at the moment. So um, if I can share um my slides um just uh, give me a second so uh, um, share can you see my slides already um they are coming they're coming <laughs> now yeah. i will just close my camera so people can see them better
Monica has some sound problems, it seems. Yeah. Well, that, that is what happens in <laughs> life. Yeah, so, um, yeah, too many people using the internet at my place. Um, Lorenzino, uh, you hear me now? Have you yes, started? Yes, we hear you. Yeah, we hear you perfectly now. Okay, sorry, sorry about this. Uh, uh all right let me just calm down and yeah up so you see the um the slide now yes okay perfect so um the, the context is that uh, I wanted to, to give you a, a glimpse on, on what are the activities that uh, the European Commission is doing around uh, APIs so um uh, the, 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 the European Commission is trying to understand why APIs are relevant for digital government and uh, our research concludes that they are uh, very important because they are the connective tissue of the digital society. The vast majority of the, um, of the data chains and the digital transactions in the digital era happen through, uh, through APIs and so moreover APIs trigger digital innovation and uh, most importantly to, to its uptake. So in this context, the API play um, a fundamental role in the digital transformation of governments as technical enablers of both public sector innovation and policy making innovation. On the public sector side, uh, APIs fosters uh, innovation and this can improve government processes and operations and most importantly, facilitate the interactions with uh, citizens, business, and all the societal actors. Um, moreover, on the policy-making side, uh, the APIs uh, make um, uh, facilitate the access to the right information in the right time. So let's imagine how, how much easier it will have been the exchange of information um, about the COVID numbers, for instance, if, if there will have been um, governments with, with, uh, with um, ready to use API infrastructure. So all in all, uh, the APIs, uh, the conclusions are that the APIs help government uh, to get connected and to be more flexible to adapt to the digital era requirements. You can find um, extensive analysis of these uh, of these topics in in the reports that uh, that we have produced and that has been recently published and that will be public in the in the in the coming week days. Um, uh, we will make sure that the API this community echoes this this publication, and uh, and uh, otherwise you can just uh, contact us anytime and we will give you access to all the reports that we have produced during our study. So um, I, I also want to raise um, uh, the attention in this uh, to, to, to the to the audience of, of the API days to uh, to the particular um, report that we produced um, with a proposal of API adoption uh, framework uh, for for um, government environments and uh, also to the self assessment tool. The, the work proposes um, a cohesive adoption of uh, a strategy of, of APIs for, for organizations. Um, this analysis structures the actions to be taken by organizations to better profit of their API infrastructure. Um, we encourage the, 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 to check first the publication and then to use the tool that we have built on top of it. So that uh, you can you can get to know uh, what are the actions and uh, and uh, uh, that that you can take to to improve uh, the status of the, the or the digital maturity of your API infrastructure. So in particular, uh, the self-assessment tool reflects all the actions that has been described fully described in the report, and that um, it's it's aim, aim, aimed to to support organizations to understand where they are. On, on the adoption, on the maturity of, of API adoption, and to help them to, to design the roadmap for, for um, getting beyond with, with, this, uh, with this API infrastructure. Um, only to say and mention that uh, we, we've done this work with, together with, uh, with Mark Boyd, which I believe he's going to make a keynote uh, later. 
And uh, only to say that it's been a, a nice pleasure, a, a great pleasure to work with him and to profit of his knowledge and his enthusiasm on the topic. Um, last but not least, I would like to raise the attention on the fact that we are collaborating with APA Days and trying to organize a number of knowledge uh, sharing and transfer events um, with uh, uh, related to the to APIs in the public sector. Uh, the closest one uh, will happen in Helsinki the 25th of, of September and the registration is already open um, in the APA Days uh, site. Um, then the second one will be in London, in the API Days event in London, where we will uh, organize a workshop. And uh, in December, we will uh, again organize a public sector track and a workshop. Uh, the objective uh, with this uh, initiative is to establish a dialogue between the public and private sector, um, private, uh, public and private API practitioners. Uh, from from uh, specifically uh, EU member states working groups and beyond. So national, local, regional um, administrations are more than welcome to 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 join us. Um, and uh, we would like to establish this dialogue on specific topics of API essentials for organisations. So if you are a practitioner in the public sector and are interested, or private sector and are interested to participate. Please let them know or register to to through through the API Days events. Um, yeah, I think I'm not sure. I think that's all for us. Um, sorry for the um, for the timing. <laughs>